Months of Channel 9 investigations uncovered absentee ballot fraud in North Carolina's 9th district, and that led to a new election, indictments, and changes to the state law. And Channel 9's government reporter Joe Bruno led those investigations, and now that absentee voting has started, Joe looked at the impact the changes are having on campaigns and also on fraud. Joe? If you've ever requested an absentee ballot in the mail, you may have noticed that just within a couple days of receiving that ballot, all of a sudden you're getting all of these flyers from candidates. Well, a change in state law will make that a lot less likely to happen in the future. From the presidential primary to county commissioner races, ballots have been mailed and people are voting. But unlike in years past, we don't know who is receiving and casting their ballots by mail. Due to changes in the uh, absentee ballot law, that I think those are called the Joe Bruno laws right now. It was my investigation that exposed election fraud that resulted in a new race for the 9th Congressional District. Political operative McRae Dallas was able to pay workers to collect absentee ballots, an act that is illegal in North Carolina. The workers found the voters by using publicly available data. On the left side is what it used to look like, complete with name and address. Now all that info is secret until election day. On the right side is what is public now, minimal information. The biggest thing that has, is, this offers is a protection to the voters now from that, that same situation which you, of all people, are completely evident, uh, are obvious with. Doing this, I think, will help make sure that we don't see another 9th District uh, situation ever again. But it will have an impact on campaigns. It is common practice for candidates to send flyers, make phone calls, or canvas voters who requested absentee ballots by mail. Political consultant Larry Shaheen says without that list, that entire strategy is dead. I think what you're going to see is an absolute dearth of absentee ballot activity in the state coming into the next year. Six people from Mecklenburg County have already cast their votes in the 2020 primaries. Voters can call the elections board to verify they received their ballot. Back to you. And Joe, thanks to you, shows how the power of your investigative reporting can make things better for our viewers and for our entire community. Thank you, Joe. Well, after Joe uncovered that absentee ballot fraud, the State Board of Elections held an evidentiary hearing. During that hearing, Republican Mark Harris, who initially won the District 9 election, called for a new election, and the board agreed. Harris decided not to run again going forward. Instead, Dan Bishop ran and defeated Democrat Dan McCready in a special election.